yeah so what is the snippets here right so on the left hand side here right we have the solvers panel and if you look at the bottom right we have a tabbed system here and there's a snippet library there as well and let me actually create a new logic template there you go so we have a new logic template to work in right so you know uh, i'm just going to cut to the short of it the snippets library is a way to kind of save commonly used you know groups of notes you know um you know let's say you have um well um yeah actually the previous question would be a good example here right so if you use this dm indicator you know as a trend filter a lot right you could save the this these three nodes here this group of nodes as a snippet so let me switch back over to the this blank logic template here right and so with this group you can just drag it on to the board and there you go you know you, you've got that group instantly created for you um, and if we go back to the solvers tab here yeah there we go so we can see that when I added that the, that group of nodes it also uh, created the two solvers necessary right for this so switching back to the snippets library here right it's it's a way that you can save commonly used you know um logic you know with with within your systems here um you know i imagine most people are probably going to use this a lot for saving you know their favorite trend filtering you know um nodes you know, right. So I was going to illustrate how, let's see, what's a good way of saying this? Um, the file management. Yeah. Right. So these snippets are designed to be um, transferable to maybe your other machines um, or to a trading buddy. Right. So if you have a group of trading buddies, whatever, and you want to share stuff, right. Um, Everybody should pretty much know by now how to share your Bloodhound files, right? You just pass that email that file to your buddy or whatever. Well, the snippets are the same thing here, right? So and when you're on the snippets library panel here, right, you'll notice there's a folder icon. So if you click on that, right, it'll open up your uh, file directory here or your file explorer Let's open this up and you'll notice it we're in the ninja trader 8 directory and we're inside of ninja traders templates directory and then we have bloodhound snippets folder all right so there we go bloodhound snippets folder and you so every snippet is two files so there's an image file here which you know, it just looks pretty. Now, the image file is not critical to any of this. It's just so we have a nice looking icon to kind of remind you, you know, give you a visual uh, reminder of what something might be. The important file is this XML. This is actually the Bloodhound file here that contains the data uh, for all these nodes, right? All these nodes are in this XML data file. So this is the important file here, right? So, you know, how do you share this snippet, which is two files with a friend, right? Well, you basically just, you know, put these in an email and email them off or whatever you're doing, right? Putting them up on some kind of file sharing drive that you might have or something like that, right? And so uh, what I was gonna illustrate is how do you, uh, when you receive a snippet from a friend, how do you, where do you put those files? So obviously you put them in this Bloodhound Snippets file. So, so what I have here is, let's see, let me open up another, oh, there we go, I already have it open, yeah, All right. So I already have my downloads directory open here, right, um, and so I have, the two files here, the two snippet files, right? The image file and the XML or the data file there. 
right? So if they're emailed to you, you then save them into your, your downloads folder, or if your email allows you to, uh, you know, you want to save them directly into the Bloodhound snippets folder. But a lot of programs, they're going to dump it, you know, when you download something, most programs will dump it into your downloads folder. So all you got to do is just select those two files and then drag them over or you can copy and paste them over into your Bloodhound snippets directory, right? And there we go. So there's those. And and then there you go. So th this is um, a part of, this was one of the updates uh, where we improved the snippets library. Uh, we also fixed kind of, there was a, a quirky kind of naming convention thing where, where the wrong file was getting renamed. Um, so yeah, so this is all, uh, the, yeah, a couple of renaming things have been fixed, but also um, some improvements have gone into the snippets part of the code as well here. So as soon as I drop these files into this folder, you can see now it instantly showed up on my uh, snippets library panel here. And then I can just take that, drag it on there and good to go. All right, well, that was it. Yeah, that, no, nothing, you know, there's nothing too difficult about this.